LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Alright, we're going to be installing the keys onto the keyboard. Start out by finding out the direction of the metal plates that are on the keyboard. You can see there's two hooks on the top here and one larger one on the bottom. That's going to tell you what direction the plastic pieces are going to go in. So in this case, well, make sure to look at the different keys because they change position and if the metal plates change position, you're going to have to change position of this, whether it's that way, that way, that way. Pretty much just want to make sure that the large piece here, um, you see at the bottom it has two sticks hanging out, and at the top it has two holes. Regardless of the position, the, uh, uh, the metal plates, I mean, of the, um, where the plastic is, you have to put those two holes on the top or the not top but the two hooks instead of the one hook so also make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like that by on the top here there's like a gap over here if you flip it around, it's like smooth, like a little platform. So that p smooth part supposed to face the keyboard, and that way, when you you know put it down, the gap is facing up, away from the keyboard. So now we know the position of this. If we put it down in the same position it's gonna go. Uh, the smaller piece has two holes at the top also and uh, it has like a large hole at the bottom that's gonna uh, go clamped onto the single hook on the keyboard and make sure not to put the whole thing upside down like that by the bottom bar here that is like at an angle you can see it's face it's going downwards like that so you want to make sure that that bar is touching the keyboard as opposed to going away from the keyboard if you were to put it like that so now we have to make these two pieces just one by putting the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the bottom bar of the large piece. Just put it underneath, it doesn't have to click yet. The part, the clicking part's going to be now that you have the bottom bar underneath the other bottom bar. The two side sticks that the small piece has have to go in the holes that the larger piece has in the same position. So it just, you know, separate the top one and push in on the top one. And there now it's one piece. So what you want to do is, uh, remember there's two holes on the bottom large piece, so let's go ahead and put those holes on the two top metal hooks there. Once it's like right in position, you want to push the whole thing downwards. Not against the keyboard anymore, just slide the whole thing downward 
so that the uh, bottom hook can grab onto the uh, bottom bar of the small piece there and you'll feel a click then you just get your key you put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides and there you go now it's a working key laptopkey.com your source for replacement keyboard keys